very disappointing week on eBay last week. It's that third week of the month that, that often turns out to be the worst. Hello again and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Polish Pete, eBay reseller based in UK. I buy cheap ladies clothing in bulk and I sell them individually on eBay for profit. I'm also an unpaid carer for an elderly and disabled person who lives abroad. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got another, another sales roundup video for you today, but before we start, if you're interested in this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. So guys, uh, disappointing week last week, uh, we didn't even hit that 500 pounds mark, not to mention the goal. It's often, uh, quite often that this third week of the month turns out to be the worst. A lot, in my opinion, a lot of people, a lot of my customers, especially who are not wealthy people, uh, they start to be a little bit afraid if they are going to make it to the next payday in that third week you know there is another kind of two weeks to the next payday and and you know a lot of people start to think oh maybe i shouldn't buy anything because i may not make it to the payday fourth week uh, at least some of them say oh yeah i still have like 20 quid or something to spend so I can go and buy something. But that third week is a point where they say, mm, mm, can I really afford to buy something? And that's what's happened. Uh, what happens uh, quite often, to be honest, quite often. I have, start, uh, I have stopped to worry about it so much because I know that this is the pattern that kind of pops up every now and again. So I would definitely do with more winter stuff as most of my sales were winter stuff uh, winter t-shirts in particular uh, you know the like a long sleeve one uh, like a cotton one or cotton rich uh, i had nice green wave on those i think i've sold four last week and few the week before i believe maybe two or something uh, also jeans jeans were selling quite well uh, practically all week long. I think I had a sale on every single day of the week on jeans. I've got 26 sales for you today. The cutoff point was seven pounds. So seven plus postage. If it was cheaper, it didn't make it to the video. Uh, we've, we only have sold six items on the second shop for a total of 54 pounds. So, you know, it died there as well and only one item sold on this platform out of 600 listed there so yeah general in general quiet you know on on the all fronts basically all the on front not only on the western front it's quiet on the all fronts and uh, yeah even on this platform even in terms of adding items to the five favorites uh, so you can send them an offer. Yeah, it was quiet in terms of that as well. I often have a lot of them. Last week, not so many, not so many. Yeah. So let's go and let's have a look what exactly has sold last week. So last week, meaning from Tuesday, uh, the 17th to Monday, the 23rd of September, we have sold 33 items for a total of 392 pounds and 43 pence, yeah, a bit disappointing really, but yeah, it's that third week of the month. Six orders in the bracket, five to 10 pounds, including postage. 25 orders in the bracket, 10 to 15 pounds. Uh, two orders, 15 to 20 pounds, no order over 20 pounds, no multi-items or orders, uh, which is strange. Only one returning customer, which is strange again. Five items sold via promoted listings which costed us £1.25 and with ROAS being at 46, which is good. 
In terms of weekly goals, red across the board, we didn't hit that 12 pounds average sale. However, we were fairly close, only 11 pence at 11.89. Obviously, per order the same because there was no multi-item orders. Obviously, we didn't list anything as we've got nothing to list. 33 sold instead of 100, 392 taken instead of 1,000. So eBay has transferred us 321 pounds and 28 pence. Uh, we've sold 33 items, so setting aside 82 pounds for postage at 2 pounds 50 each, 33 pounds as a cost of goods at 1 pound each gives us 100, sorry, 206 pounds, which is not enough. Uh, 27 days since last zero sales day, so this is good. So this MS A line skirt size 18, navy in color with ge geometric uh, print. This has sold for uh, 9.99 plus postage, and it has sold via promoted listings. These Shein curve jeans size 20, black in color, like very baggy and quite heavy to be fair. Uh, these have sold for $7.99 plus postage. Uh, positive feedback has been received. Uh, this retro casual A-line dress, size 18. This has sold for $10.99. Very happy to see the back of it as I had it for six months. These Salus Leopard print trousers, size 18. Uh, these were more like summer trousers, you know, thin one. These have sold for $8.50 as an offer to a watcher, plus postage on top of that. Uh, this MS Summer t shirt, size 18, with like a dragonfly print. You know, any print that is a little bit different than what you normally see sells quite well and quite quickly. This was just a simple t shirt uh, sold for seven pounds, a little bit of argy bargy here. I've sent an offer of 750. She came back with seven and I have accepted that. Uh, these next denim jeans, uh, jeggings, size 16. These were on auction. Customer made one bid. I asked her if she wants me to finish the auction early so I can send it, send it out to her on Thursday, she said, yeah, no problem, I can do that, which I did. So $9.99 plus postage. Uh, this new look curves, like a long open front jacket, size 28. This has sold for $9.99 as an offer to a watcher, plus postage on top. This Clifton evening dress, size 18. Uh, this has sold for $10.99 via promoted listings as an offer to a watcher. Very happy to get rid of it as I had it for six months. This MS Winter T-shirt, size 16. This has sold for $8.50 as an offer to a watcher. This Bon Marsh Open Front Workwear Jacket, size 24, uh, sold for $9.99 with 10% coupon. I have forgotten about my coupon again, and I res it has finished on Tuesday morning, and I have restarted it, I don't know, was it Thursday morning? I would say Thursday morning. So I've lost a couple of days without a coupon, basically. Uh, yours, Jeggings, size 24. Uh, these have sold for $7.50 as an offer to a watcher. This Splash A-Line midi skirt size L, which worked out 12 to 14, sold for $7.99 with 10% coupon, and then postage on top. This Papaya Winter Blouse size 18 was on auction. Customer made me an offer of £8, which I have accepted. It was at $7.99 as an asking price. Uh, this yours, Jenny, denim jeggings, uh, size 24, distressed. Uh, these have sold for $7.99 to a returning customer. Uh, so I offered 850 
Uh, but I know this customer, she always com comes back with like, I offer 850, she comes back with, with 799 and I always accept it. So she did it the same thing this time. And yeah, 799 plus postage. Uh, TU jeans, size 16, black in color. These have sold for 750 as an offer to a watcher. Uh, this BM two-piece look blouse, size 20. This has sold for $7.99 with 10% coupon. And then postage on top, obviously. Everything is postage on top. Uh, these MNCO bootcut jeans, size 16. As you can see, a lot of jeans have sold. Uh, these were on auction, one beat, $8.99 uh, plus postage on top. These MS boot cut denim jeans size 18 again on auction one bit 11.99 plus postage. This gold cross A line evening dress size 18. Uh, this has sold for a tenner, so I offered uh, 10.99. She she came back with tenner, which I have accepted because I had it for three months, so it was time for it to go. This button tunic, uh, tunic top size 20, 22. It didn't have like a brand or anything like that, but it was a tunic with some nice floral design. So I knew it's going to sell. Uh, eight pounds, customer offered me eight pounds, which I have accepted. This next beachwear wrap dress, very flimsy, very thin, uh, like a, I would say like a, uh, what you call it, a swimsuit cover, more like a swimsuit cover than a dress, really, 100% uh, cotton. Uh, I have sent an offer of 12.50. Customer came back with tenner. I said, no, no, no. 11.99 is the lowest I can do, and she accepted and paid. So 11.99 plus postage on this one. Uh, this weird fish, uh, casual top, size 16, orange in color with some leaf print. Uh, I've made a mistake in the title, as you can see, nevertheless, it has sold. So one, one lady has asked me a question about it. I can't remember what the question was about. I have answered the question. So she had, she said, what's the best price? I said 750. She never came back, but later the same day, because listing had some traction with those uh, questions and answers. It sold for a full asking price with 10% coupon. So 899 with coupon uh, plus postage on top. The this TU winter t-shirt size 22 sold for 8.99 with coupon, so same story as the previous one. Uh, these BM jeans size 16, these have sold for seven pounds. So usually I list BM jeans at 7.99, but I tried a bit more and started with 8.99. I've sent an offer of 750. She came back with seven, which I had accepted. Uh, these TU joggers, size 18, like a purple in color. These have sold for 750 with postage as an offer to a watcher. And this Evans tunic top, size 22, 24. It's like a floral design, quite nice one. Sold for full asking price, $9.99. However, customer applied 10% coupon. So one pound off and then postage on top of that. Yeah. So I'm almost done with transferring my items from the second shop back to the main one. Uh, they will all reach and the end of 30 day cycle this week or the beginning of the next one I think Monday uh, is the kind of the last day for about a third of them 
Uh, so I will take them down and then I will copy the SKUs to the uh, main shop and that will be it for now in terms of running two eBay shops. Uh, I think I will also restart that Google Ads campaign. Uh, I was kicking the can down the road really because uh, it's always a problem to restart the campaign there for whatever reason. It was running for months, it was fine. As soon as you kind of pause it uh, and then you try to restart it, it's suddenly a ton of things that are a problem, yeah? Out of nowhere, yeah? It was running for months without the problems. Now, oh, we can't run this campaign because something is wrong. And they don't tell you specifically what's wrong. So you have to dig deep and try to find wh what is the problem. Uh, and so I uh, often end up with like just flipping and removing that campaign and starting new one. And when you start new one, it's always a week of work, basically. Uh, anyway, I'll wrap it up here, guys. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, please don't forget to click that like button on your way out. And... Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. I'll see you next time. Have a great week. God bless you all. God bless people of Ukraine. Bye-bye.